Hello, and hello, and today I'm going to show you how to make a, a maze on PowerPoint 2010. Let's begin. So first you're going to want to open PowerPoint. And then you're going to want to, on the first um, text box for the title, you can name it anything you want. I'm just going to name it. Maze. Don't type anything in the subtitle. And then you can either make a start button or find one off clip art. I feel like finding one off clip art. But, okay, this is a good one. Then you're going to want to drag it over to the corner. After you've done that, duplicate that slide. And then you're going to delete the maze, like the title slide. After you've done that, you're going to make like a little pathway for the maze. Uh, no, yeah, you're going to make like a little pathway for the maze. Um, I'm just going to slap one together quickly. You, you can make it harder and add obstacles and stuff. I'll show you how to make the obstacles later in this video. Now, if you've made that, you're going to want to make a big rectangle covering the entire background. Send it to the back. Then you're gonna wanna make it you can make it really any color you want. I feel like making it yellow. And put no outline. For all of them, I just you you don't have to, but I just think it looks better in perspective. Okay, after you do that, you can either make a finish button or you can find one. Um I'm just gonna find one. Find a good square one. Oh, those are all animated. Let's do this one. Okay, so you put it where you want it. And after that, you make a new slide, title only. And it and um it's it's gonna be your you lose thing, so if you um so if you so if you hit any obstacles or go into the background, you'll 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 hyper you'll teleport to the slide. Okay, so I'm just gonna do you Okay, you can put any pictures or any other stuff you want here, but then you're gonna want to make two buttons that say exit and. Retry. So, retry. Okay. Then you're gonna want to duplicate that slide. The only thing you're gonna do is instead of you lose, do you won. Okay. After you have all that stuff, you're you're gonna go to the first slide again and select your start button. Go to insert and and select action. And you're going to go to mouse click, hyperlink to next slide. So when that happens, when you click that button, you're going to teleport to the start of the maze. You can add sound if you want, stuff like that, you know. And then um Okay, and so if you and so on. And then after that, you click on this background action and you, go, and you click on mouse over it, it's really important that you do mouse over because if you do mouse click it won't work unless they actually click on the background so you do mouse over you do hyperlink to next slide because that's your you lose slide
and then you can add sound like a you like a you lose sound or something like that. You can do that if you want. Okay, and and you 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 can also make obstacles. So um, I'll t I'll teach you how to make one really quickly. Um, you can make it animated or not. I'm gonna show you how to make an animated one. So let's make a spinning star in the way. Okay. So you you can make it in any color you want. But I, but I would suggest making all the obstacles one color. I'm just gonna make it red. And so you can just make it standing there if you want. It really doesn't matter. But I'm gonna teach you how to make an animated one. Go to animations and choose any animation you want. But it has to be in the intermediate ones. So any of these. Or these okay spin looks the best for to me so I'm just gonna do spin and so you go to you you click on this this little box right here you go to timing and you do um start with previous and then you can adjust how fast or slow it goes uh, let's go here so and then you have to change this to repeat until end of slide you click OK and then it'll just keep doing what it's doing right then un until the end of the slide but if you don't want to but, but if you don't want to click on that box if you right click it you can go to um oh wait sorry never mind never mind that okay Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And so, yeah. So after you, so and oh, oh, also, you have to um insert action, mouse over, hyperlink to next slide, kind of like the background. So if you touch it, you'll automatically um you'll automatically go to the, to the you lose slide. Okay, so. And then you finally can do your finish side. So have this selected. Go to insert action and do mouse over hyperlink to last slide. And you press OK. You, you can add sound if you want. Uh, it's it really doesn't matter. Okay. Then you go to these slides. Go to the exit button. Insert actions, mouse click, hyperlink to end show. Because when you exit, you'll exit the slideshow format. You can add sound. Um, yeah. You just you do the same one on the next slide. And then um, so for the retry button, you same thing. You go on. Um, Mouse click hyperlink to, but this time you first slide. Same thing with this one down here. Then if you want to add more levels, it's the same thing. Um, you can add like a start, like easy, medium, hard, stuff like that. You just have to hyperlink it, like the obstacles to you lose and the um, f f finish lines to you one. It's the same thing as you as we did in the second slide. Okay, let's test it out. Slideshow from beginning. Base. Start. So then you follow the pathway. Oopsies! I hit the button. I lost. Okay. Also, if you hit the background. You lose. Now let's see if our finish button works. Oh crud. Okay. Sorry about that. Hooray, it works. Okay. Thanks for watching and for and for more tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.